Come with me. See what I see. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys. I'm Bob. I'm Barb. Together we make up Tennis World. Being full time RVers, one of our favorite things is meeting friends and making friends on the road. And lots of silliness that comes from that. We're going to take you through Arcadia National Park and we're going to talk about aliens. Aliens. So you better stay tuned. Before we start this video we want you to think about subscribing to our channel why because we're all about rv life can and spider rides it's free for you and it helps us out we also want you to give us a thumbs up because that allows youtube to pass our video on to more people to share so let's get on with the video oh my god it's youtubers in the wild look at them we're capturing them in their raw form <laughs> living our dream now lou and melody it's outstanding <laughs> So at this campground, we were meeting up with Living Our Dream Now, and it was super exciting for us because yeah. we have followed them for many years. Uh, we've got a link to their YouTube channel below, which is Living Our Dream Now, as well as their Facebook page, Free and Affordable RV Camping in the USA. And this couple is amazing because we started off following them for the reviews of the campgrounds because, sorry, the neighbors are getting ready to leave and I'm gonna close the window. Yeah, while we were planning our last year out west trip, which you guys are still involved in in our videos, that's when we found Lou and Melanie on YouTube because they did a lot of reviews of the campgrounds that we were going to out, out on the west coast. Yeah, they are super detailed. They show you the entrance. They go through everything in details. They show you sites that will work for all different sizes of campers. They tell you about uh, what kind of hookups and stuff they have at the campground. And they also uh, let you know about internet, which is super important if you're an RVer, especially a YouTuber, that you need to know if you're going to have some kind of connection or not. And we found that all of Lou and Melody's videos to be honest and truthful nope we love those reviews where they actually give the uploads and downloads yeah that's very that's very important to us for sure yeah and that's when we first fell in love with lou and melody just from watching them yeah. and then their channel grew like crazy bang busters yeah. and he started a facebook group for the free and affordable camping rv yeah. camping in the usa and that has taken off like gangbusters also so we definitely recommend that you follow both because he's super detailed in everything that he does and yeah you will learn a lot from them, especially if you're on the road. My nickname for them is that he is the Superman of the RV industry because he can figure anything out and leap over it and get it done. And she, of course, is Little Dolly. Barb likes to give everybody a nickname. Yeah, so you better watch out. Which usually <laughs> involves an actor or actress. Yeah. I'm just here to tell you that. Some kind of personality clicks in my head and lets me know who you are. Yeah, we spent most of the day with Lou and Melanie exploring Arcadia National Park. It was a day of fun, hiking, beauty, and silliness. It also included going to Thunder Hole. So Thunder Hole is the sound of the sea. So hearing the thunder boom that comes from Thunder Hole is all about timing. Thunder Hole is best viewed, I think in, they say an hour before low tide. We were there after the tide had risen, but it was still thunderous. Yes, it was so. amazing to see. Thunder Hole! Thunder Hole! After that, we went to... Bar Harbor. Bahaba. Bahaba. And, Bahaba. and, Bahaba. Had, and had a delicious dinner out yeah. on the water. They ate a bunch of like fishy stuff. Like who would do that? I had rich. I love the fish. <laughs> Bahaba. Alright Bob, you're having... Clam chowder. You having some chowder? How is it? It's so awesome. New England clam chowder. You got to get it New England. <laughs> All right, Melody, what are you having? I am having lobster bisque with these little thingies. <laughs> I like thingies in my Oyster soup. Oyster crackers. Oyster crackers. How is it? I That's need good. to know. Is it good? It's good. It's I mean, really I haven't really, really seen you taste it, so I don't know if I believe you, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
All right. I think you're having the same thing. Same thing. Lobster bisque. Is it tasty? With crackers. Westminster Baker crackers. <laughs> Is it tasty? There you go. Yes, it's very it's tasty. Very <laughs>so one morning while walking narrows to campground we ran into joe and celeste and every time we meet them i feel like they're trying to get away from us maybe they think i'm going to give them a name or something that could be it but every time we meet them we meet them and then they leave the next day and to this time we met them they were leaving that day yeah, but they, were, yeah they were actually <laughs> taking their trash for their final uh, trash drop off yeah. to uh hook the camper up and leave but I wish I'd had my camera because it was one of those wonderful moments where we were walking and Celeste was coming toward us. I saw her, she saw me, and it was like a love affair again. We just <laughs> ran and hugged each other and it was so great. When you meet somebody in the park, then you know that at some point you're going to go your separate ways. But to meet them again down the road, that just makes it awesome. Yeah. So the park itself is one of the nicest Thousand Trails parks I've ever stayed in. Uh, especially up north. It's a large park. It's right on the ocean. The park has several different sections. One section where you're actually on the ocean front, which I think that's probably not 4,000 trails members. Yeah. No. I, I think it's mainly for people that want to pay big bucks because yeah. it's well over $100, $150 in the season. Yeah. My favorite thing about the park was that it was the best thousand trail staff that we've ever encountered. Super nice, super friendly. Your favorite thing is... They gave me food all the time. Yay! Yeah, they had Saturday ice cream social. Ice cream. They all they had s'mores. They had things for the kids to do, but... They made us burgers. They made us burgers. So, I mean, it was really nice. Uh, very easy to navigate with a big camper. Good roads. Fair internet. Yeah. Uh, we did purchase the internet there, and it worked really good until Big Giant Motorhome pulled next to us and blocked... The, Our, uh, the tower a little bit. Tower. Uh, so the internet would come and go. That was probably the only really low point of the park, but it was just just a beautiful park. And the one night that we had hamburgers, we actually had dinner with new friends that we had made in the park, which is Chris and Angie Dingellis. So I'm hoping I said that right because they sent me a note and broke it out, Dingellis. And they are river stoners, so we always like to meet up with river stoners. Yep, yep. So we forced ourselves onto them because they were river stoners, and we just had a general discussion, and then we ended up meeting up for hamburgers, which was fun. And that was an experience in itself because the hamburgers kept catching on fire as they were cooking them, so they yeah. were very well made. But after that, we ended up hanging out with them, and this was incredible because we did not expect this. We were just thinking we were going to hang out with them, have a little bit of fun, then they invited us over for dinner, and it was what kind of night? taco night taco night and, and she put on one heck of a spread i yeah. mean all the fixings tacos soft shells hard shells yeah and all the Chicken fixings that go with it rice yeah. i mean it was just oh. it was really good and tasty we really appreciate that and i'm going to tell chris and angie right now i am still not hungry because they fed us blueberry pie from that sugar bakery yeah and and ice cream on top of oh, it. Oh, I know. I mean, it, it was like they gave me a quarter piece of pie. And I hadn't had blueberry pie forever, and it was amazing. And then, I think Chris pretty much forced me to eat that second piece of pie. Yeah, Barb's, her dessert stomach is always ready for more dessert, yeah. even though her food stomach might fill up. Yeah, I could eat just a little bit of food and be like, eh, but my dessert stomach's em empty. But it was like maybe almost two days before I really wanted to eat anything again. But it was the most delicious meal we'd ever had with, with someone like that. So thanks, guys. Yeah, it was it was awesome. So while we were hanging out with them, we encountered um, something I'd never seen before. And he was explaining it to it was the Starlink uh, satellites traveling in the sky. Yeah, when, when SpaceX sends out their Starlinks, they take them up on their big ship. And then they get uh, deposited out into the atmosphere. They're all they, tethered behind, they're right? All, they're all in a row. And he was telling us about the, the, the lights, you know, like 25 lights right in a row and going through the, the sky. And we were hat, sitting out on a starry night, looked up, and he said, there yeah. it is right there. So we, were like, what? we could not believe it. I mean, it was, you could see, you could see at least 20 dots in a row and some of them were a little faint. But they all started to get in their orbit. 
so it could be used in the uh, Starlink system for internet. And you said there's how many up in space now? There's like 4,200 I think right now and they're wanting to go to like 140,000 to cover the entire globe. I mean that's, I can't imagine. I just can't even imagine how will we even get into space when those are all up there without bumping into them. And then while we were looking up in the sky, I spy with my little eye an alien. She thinks she sees an alien. And, and, and I know Chris and Angie are going to back me up on this because it was an alien. And it was weird. It sat there forever. It hovered. It was big. And then I thought, I'm going to take a picture of it. And then here it is. And I thought, why is the picture a square? Oh, no. I'm now one of those ones that takes pictures of aliens and they look all bleary and weird. Yeah, a so, UFO. Yeah, it tried. It tried to get me. It tried to get all of us, but I scared it away by taking the picture. Yeah. When you're in Maine, you have to eat lobster, and Bob had a lot of different lobster things and fish things while he was there. But for his last meal in Maine, we went to something called the Lunt's Lobster Pound. Oh, I had lobster stew with lots of butter in it. And it I, was good. I had hamburger, but it was also very good. What was super cool about this restaurant? It is just right outside. The campground you just walk across the street the the story was the what the family had owned it yeah i think it from the, the 1930s the husband and wife bought it he had a gas station that he ran that was on the same site the wife ran a just a lobster stand and as it grew they eventually sold part of the uh, their property to the air the um, airport airport that's right next door and then he jumped into the restaurant business and they built up a, a more of a sit down restaurant, which it's still a real smaller, older restaurant, but really neat history to it. And it's run by, I think, the grandchildren yeah, and stuff today. I think the original woman may still be there. She's just older. <laughs> so our thoughts, I guess, on all of this is that no matter what you're doing in your life, whether you're RVing or not, you should always make sure just to stay in contact with people. Don't isolate yourself. You know, don't be separated. Make friends, even if it's only for a moment in time. Yeah. Because when you see those people again that you've met that you have some kind of common thing with, you get all excited and it warms your heart and makes you feel good. So we definitely want to thank Joe and Celeste, Lou and Melody, Chris and Angie. You guys warm our hearts and we yeah. had a great time with you guys. So we hope that you will like this video. Give us thumbs up. That pushes us up in the YouTube algorithm. Smash up that notification bell. Give us your comments. Let us know about this video and any of our other videos. So we want you guys to remember that we're ahead of this world. Come travel in our incredible world. <laughs>